Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm reviewing a quite different electric bike the Wild Side Shadow model It is very interesting in terms of design that vintage motorcycle with that uh, front suspension spring system big headlight and the gas tank shape where of course the battery is sitting uh, but that's one thing, you know, it's beautiful in that sense. However, it is going to be important to test the efficiency of the motor, battery and gear system, comfort as well. So yeah, stay looking at the review and uh, I want to acknowledge Hyper Cycles that provided this bike for review today. All right, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the first highlights that I see from the bike. The first one is the front suspension design design that the company actually is offering here is an unconventional system and basically connects here and then just this uh, coil system two system is go are gonna provide i think enough support for the actual rider in this sense and reducing the amount of weight that you're gonna put on the on the suspension system whereas if you have it here then the whole bar, the whole uh, suspension is gonna have to deal with the complete weight of the bike which i think it is around 28 kilograms to 30 heavy side of course has a lot of components to make it like that the second thing that i notice is the battery design which is internally embedded here you open it here and it'll open like a flap like a little door let's say here's the pivot point and it's just so cool the design of the type of a vintage gas stack of a motorcycle so that is a very appealing design the other thing that i find super interesting is the design of the handlebar having a u shape providing the rider enough comfort again like having a, a motorcycle type of a style and also these very clean cool leather grips actually very comfortable with this little flap here uh, that is very impressive and the other thing that I love from the from the bike is the inclusion of the rear rack and I'm quite impressed of what they are offering here with 25 kilograms capacity to carry that weight so currently using pedal assist one and I can tell how powerful the motor is already just barely pedaling and feeling the efficiency of it is it's quite impressive indeed now i'm gonna test the maximum pedal assist provided by this e-bike gear uh, shift four let's see all right feeling the motor pushing my pedal really simple now <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to go to the next gear to feel um, a little bit in, in more control of my pedaling it's very powerful there you go I feel like there is a millisecond or a slight delay in the motor sensitivity or reaction like um, maybe half pedal which is uh, interesting I think now there is one thing that I'm noticing is there is another delay for the motor to cut the power so it could be like an extra second right now i'm pedaling and having that assistance i'm not pedaling anymore and i'm having yeah roughly a second extra second the motor providing still some assistance so from what i've seen in general like seems to be the type of configuration for bath and motors uh testing the xds E cross uh, which also has a bath and motor it was pretty much doing the same thing when stopping my pedal the motor was giving that extra extra push for a, around one second so interesting to note now let's see how the front suspension performs in this section of the park and you can tell like super smooth I don't feel much of the vibration going into the bumpy bits of this grass section let's go up 
oh yeah I love I love this suspension it's really comfy so final impressions about the wild side shadow model so yeah in general the visuals and the side design is very appealing it is quite quite cool and fun to ride comfortable enough with those uh, spring suspension design and the saddle is not too bad actually thick tires as well providing extra shock absorption as well so yeah very interesting in that sense in terms of the motor efficiency well we got a 500 watts Bafang rear hub motor that definitely provided a lot of power the other part that I loved was the handlebar design so yeah it's so easy to reach my body felt comfortable enough to ride in a straight position and still having enough comfort pedaling so that was very interesting and also having all the readouts of, from the controller you know basic ones speed level of assistance and how many k's you have covered if you're into that battery power left the only one missing might be battery range but um, yeah you can do the numbers based on the battery capacity and motor watts you could tell roughly how many hours you would be able to to cover so a couple of things that i found a little bit annoying but no deal breakers of course is one of it is the weight of it rated around 30 kilograms which might be heavy for many people might be not i think it's heavy um but well you're considering all the elements that the bike has and the extra elements to make it look like a vintage motorcycle so it is understandable and the other thing is the strange behavior of the bath and motor giving extra push even after i stop pedaling so yeah if you think that this bike might be something you would consider because of the style its look possibly its comfort power as well and tag price is actually not too bad i would suggest test riding it uh, and if you don't know where to find it well you could go to the bike shop where i source this bike or just do a uh, research on internet